Good morning and welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin on the last day of June, June 30th, 2025. It is pretty warm out for summertime here. It's nice. It's 78 degrees, high humidity. Feels kind of like Florida in the winter time. But uh, so I've got a wonderful engine here to run today and I was going to say this is an Inya 4640X. All right, let me make sure I'm getting this right. It's a 40X, Inya 40X engine. And I was all excited because I thought that this would be like only the second time I've had one of these engines and run it on the channel and apparently it's the third. I have had so many engines that I can't keep them all straight. I picked this engine up a month or two ago, several months ago off of eBay for a really good, really good price. And I'm thinking, wow, I haven't, haven't had one of these in a few years and it turns out uh, Mike, a friend of mine had given me one a couple years ago and I ran the Enya 40X engine almost exactly a year ago today. So this isn't much of a new engine, but I am going to do a nice run with this engine because I've never run this particular one before. I've got a APC 10.6 prop on here, a brand new Enya number three plug, and some like five to seven percent nitro fuel. This engine has never been run by me. It's a used engine, but after this run, it's destined to have bearings replaced and new Boca bearings installed. So that's why we're here to run this engine. And I got all kinds of birds talking to me. Let's just run it. All right, let's see. Pretty sure I got the needle valve set. Let me do it again here. and a half. We'll start there. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, I haven't set my throttle up yet. Let's do that real quick. You can get to see a quick change here of the throttle. Okay, we're good. Let's see how she takes a prime. And she's not taking a prime at all. Let's see. I think there's some garbage in this fuel inlet. So I didn't clean this engine or anything. So it may be a little erratic here. There we go. I have no idea what my needle valve setting is now either. So we're just gonna fire it up and see what happens.
Okay, so yeah, this carb has got some crud in it, and I'm going to have to try and see if I can't do a little bit of maintenance to it here real quick. So I'm going to shut the video off and see if I can't find something to run through there real quick and clean it out because it's not running properly. Okay, I did about all I have the capability of doing here, which isn't much, unfortunately. This carb just needs to come off and get cleaned properly. And this is my fault for not checking this prior to coming out here, but that's what this is all about. that carb out a little bit okay so what can you say other than it's an Inya they just run now it does have a little bit of fuel leakage coming from this carb so I'm probably still gonna have to you know I blew out whatever was in there and I think it was just congealed oil um, blew out whatever was in there and it's running better and I was happy to see it hit 13,000 RPM because I believe the one I ran last year hit like 13,500. 
with an APC 10.6, so that's my benchmark, or that's what it should be turning. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's an NA engine, and it's a very low time engine, at least externally it looks like it. I haven't taken it apart yet, obviously, but it, I don't know if the bearings sound like they've got some issues or not, but they're gonna get replaced anyway. But I mean, just, if you ever get a chance to get an NA engine, just buy it. They don't, they, they last forever, they take a lot of abuse, they run well. I mean, you just can't go wrong with an Inya engine. And this one was actually released to, to the public, I believe, in like 1978. So this is a really old engine. And I believe that it fix, features a Dykes piston ring. It's not an ABC engine. I believe it's a, a Dykes ringed engine. So, I mean, this is just really nice. I just, what more can you say? It's an Inya.